I did it again. Bought every single pack left at the store. Let's see if it was worth it. So I was at a CVS just looking around and this is what they had left. And believe it or not, all three of these were in security boxes. Like the, the cashier had to actually get the security key to open these packs up so I could buy these. Now uh, we've got this Mimikyu tin that I'm not sure I've seen before. Let's see what it includes. Looks like we've got one of three foil cards. Yep, but we got the Mimikyu. Uh, three packs and a code card, wow. Underwhelming. So in this tin, we've got our Mimikyu card. Doesn't look like it's a promo, just a nice little hollow. We've got a Vivid Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and a Rebel Clash. Right off the bat, not worth it. This was about a $20 tin. Um, I didn't know what was in here. I don't like to do a ton of research on tins, just because I like to be surprised. Kind of like a little mini mystery box to me. Um, but just a right off rip. 20 bucks for three packs of this quality. Of these sets, I should say. Really, not that great. But we're in this for you. Not for me. One, two, what was this, Rebel Clash? Three, is this? Yeah, energy, okay. We're good. No spoilers. We've got a Sandy Gas to start, a Roly Coley, Stunky, Clefairy, Voltorb, Burning Scarf, Oleana, Lux, oh, it's so cute. Luxio, a Reverse, Toxel and a holographic Galarian Weezing. Let's go ahead and do Darkness Ablaze. I believe this was the first set that I ever opened an entire booster box for. It was unfortunately right at the height of the Pokemon craze. And um, I bought it from my local card store. And no, no, uh, I don't mean any disrespect to them, but they scalped the heck out of me and I didn't know it. But an ETB of Darkness Ablaze for, I don't even want to tell you how much it was, 160 US dollars. And you know what the, the killer thing is? It's on my YouTube channel, but I didn't pull anything. I mean, I pulled stuff. I did not pull what, like a Charizard. You're looking for a Charizard in this set, and I did not pull the Charizard. Um, hopefully right here, we've got a Charizard to make up for that entire box. <sighs> Regular Rare Feeble. All right, the rest of that tin, Vivid Voltage. Let's see if we get a $20 card out of here. Still looking for our Rainbow Rare friend. One, two, three, four. Starting with Slugma. Milkery, Beldum, Wooper, Ninkata, Drone Rotom, Swoobat, Loudred, Reverse Beldum, Oh, and a Talonflame V. Better than nothing. Not a fantastic hit. But what can you expect? It's the only cards left in the whole store. They, thankfully, the other two things they had left were these three-pack blisters of Evolving Skies. From what I hear, these ones are relatively loaded as far as Evolving Skies goes. Now, that could all just be hearsay. But let's do our own research in these six packs. To see if we get anything great. Fortunately, uh, or unfortunately, whatever, however you feel, these are both the Umbreon packs, and oh my goodness. Oh my. Like I, like I said, these were jammed into security boxes, you can tell. Big crease there. I guess I, should, I didn't even realize how close it was to the, uh, this little promo here. Definitely took a beating. Thankfully, I do have one of these that's already in decent shape. But that's really disappointing. That is a bummer. But we do have the three Evolving Skies pack. Is the Raikou coin. Really cool. I don't think I have the Raikou coin yet. Raikou, Raikou, whatever you like to say. Some people say stuff really weird. Uh, pack number one, Evolving Skies. Still haven't opened up very much of this set. I'm hoping to soon. I've got, if you can see right there, got a couple booster boxes. We'll, uh, those will be on Instagram for voting at some point in the future because I'm, I'm doing one sealed, one open. That's, that's the game plan. But for now, we're going to do these three-pack blisters. Starting with a Slack-Off, a Petlil, Pikachu, Pumpkaboo, Flabebe, 
Scrafty. Ursa Ring. Crystal Cave. Oh, reverse Rare. Ver whew, reverse Holographic Ice Q. And a regular Rare Militic. I don't even say it that way. The Melodic. That's what I'm saying. People say stuff weird. I just said something weird and I don't even say it that way. That doesn't make any sense. What is your biggest pet peeve for Pokemon names? I can't... Off the top of my head, Melodic is a pretty bad one. Um, what else is there? Oh, my biggest pet peeve Pokemon name is Rayquaza. I hear people say Rayquaza, and I don't care what's right, but for some reason, hearing Rayquaza just... Just, you know, just does that thing. You know what I'm talking about. Amolga, Skip Plume, Elemental Badge, Boost Shake, Reverse Hollow, Jump Pluff, and... Oh, let's go! We got the Espeon VMAX! I, this is my first actual hit out of Evolving Skies. This is amazing! Holy cow, they really did it right with this set. That card is beautiful. I'm fairly certain that's not the, the alternate art, which is fine. Not expecting any of that, but that is awesome. Wonderful card. Definitely best hit from Evolving Skies I've had as of yet. Now, it, I guess my buddy was right about the three-pack blisters. That's that's about as much as you expect from one of these, right? There's no way we get two. There's no way. There's no way. Wobbuffet. Hoppip. Swablu. Zorua. Petlil. Lucky Ice Pop. Tentacruel. Palpitoad. Lucky Ice Pop. And, hey, we got another Hollow, though. Hollow Zoroark. You know, for a three-pack blister, again, they kind of charged more than MSRP on these things. This was also $20, which is fine. I hear that's actually not a bad price for these right now. Unfortunately, the world that we've come to live in is <laughs> over MSRP is still pretty good, you know? We've got our Umbreon. Again, super duper bent. Doesn't look as not bent. I should say it's rolled or curved. That's not technically bad because it can be undone. It's not a fold. It's not nearly as bad as the other one, but still a little, a little disappointing. Another Raikou. And we've got three more chances at an Alt Art or another of the Evolution V Maxes. Two, three, four. Starting this blister off with a Bergmite. Drowsy, Scraggy, Bagon. That's another one. Bagon or Bagon? Who are you? Team Bagon or Team Bagon? Floet, Boost Shake, Reversed, Raihan, and a regular rare Tropius. Tropius used to be one of my favorite Pokemon for no no reason at all. I just remember playing through, what is it, X and Y? And Trop, no. Now I'm gonna feel like an idiot because I don't know what's, what generation he's from. I just remember always using Tropius. But he wasn't good, that's why I don't understand. That's why I don't know why I liked him. Dimple, Psyduck, e oh, that's so cute. Cutie, cutie fly, Pikachu, Shellgun, Lombre, full face guard, Swablu reverse, and a Falapple regular rare. Which brings us to our very last pack of the video. Our last of our second three pack blister of Evolving Skies. Let's all Cross our fingers. Hope for anything. Uh, four. Another VMAX. Alt art would be great, obviously. Let's roll this through. Hippopotas, Lillipup, Nickit, Bergmite, Vigroth, Dream Ball, Zinnia's Resolve, Reverse Dream Ball. Ladies and gentlemen, the Sylveon V Alt art. Let's go. Are you be kidding me? Oh, that's amazing. This is the alt art, right? Please tell me I'm not, oh, I'm not getting this wrong. This is the alt art, right? That's amazing. I can't believe it. Go get, okay, go out to your store right now. Find three pack blisters and buy as many as you can. That's the way to go. That's all I have to say. It's confirmed just out of sample size of two. It's confirmed. Thank you so much for your time. If you enjoy Pokemon TCG content, I've got plenty on this channel. Um, click around somewhere there. There'll be a little card. Have a great day.